Frank Seppi for NPC News Online here at the Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym NPC Workshop. I'm here with IFBB Classic Physique Pro, third place finisher at Mr. Olympia, George Peterson, and his trainer, Justin Miller. So, okay, when you competed at the Olympia, people were like, where did this guy come from? Right. You knew he was going to do good. You've been around for a long time. You called it. But how did you make that kind of progression to the top so quickly? I mean, really, it was just a bunch of hard work, persistence, and dedication. You know, uh, it was a, a roller coaster ride to get to the Olympia. When we finally got there, me and Justin, we sat down and we went over a game plan and we said, okay, we're gonna stick to this plan. And I can remember as clear as day, that, that morning of the pre-judging, when he took a look at me and he showed me the pictures and the videos of how I looked, I knew we were gonna do something big. Is he uh, dedicated? Is he hard, is he hard working? <laughs> Super hard working, Frank. He's, uh, he's a pleasure to work with because I, mean, I could tell him eat nails and he'd say, all right, coach, whatever you say, you know, no problem. He'll do whatever it takes. He's a hard worker. He's, he, he, George is hardcore. You know, if he has to, to do two hours of cardio a day and not eat any carbs for days, he has no problem doing it. He's been moving some serious poundage, too, during his workouts, I saw in social. He's, he's strong. George has tiny joints, but I think they made it titanium because he, he lifts a lot of weight. You know, sometimes I see his, his knees wrapped and they're so little. But he's got, you know, 500 pounds on the bar. I'm like, man, is this a good idea? But he moves it, and he's got no problems. So I think he's got titanium joints. <laughs> so now he plays third at the Olympia. What are you going to do this year? What's your, what's your plan contest-wise? Uh, this year, we're going to be focusing all our energy on the 2018 Mr. Olympia. And we strongly, strongly believe that we're going to take first place. You're taking a whole year off, huh? whole year off. So what are you going to do to work on him to get him th those two more spots up? <laughs> just, just take the year to improve. I mean, what, what was interesting with last year was that he did so many shows that, you know, it, it, it's hard. And you, as you know, it, it's hard to do so many shows and improve, but he did it. Now he's got the advantage because he could wait all year. with no. He doesn't have to worry about dieting and all that. So he can improve, build muscle in the areas he needs to build, and just go in there and take care of business because he's uh, – you know, and George is a hard worker, you know, and they have the five pound increase. And so it's, on, to be honest, it's five pounds less that he has to lose. To, oh, five pounds less muscle that he has to lose to get down there because he's, he's ripped before the weight class. So I, I think George can get into condition. You know, he's a hard worker, so he'll do it. And the thing is also that we, we had a plan going into this. We wanted to make sure he was sharp. We made extra certain that he was sharp. So to be honest with you, he was a little flat. And because we tried, he was 10 pounds bigger about two days later, just as ripped. So we know he could come in about at least five pounds bigger. Now with the five pound increase, he should be on stage about 10 pounds bigger with the same or better conditioning. So he's going to be an improved George. But again, I agree with George. I don't rest on anything. Mm -hmm. I, respect, I respect every competitor. I, I really, I respect the hell out of Breon, out of Chris Bumstead, out of Arash, out of all these guys. And I know that they're going to get better. So for George to, to beat these guys, he has to get, you know, even better than he was. The, the, you know, this division's only going to get harder. What specifically do you think he needs to work on? Bring his legs up more, uh, bring his arms up a little bit. And honestly, bring everything else up to match his back. <laughs> so you'll be squatting all for the whole year? The whole year. You know, maybe, maybe uh, we could do a squat video, uh, you know, sometime soon. 100%. For those who don't know the height and weight, what height and weight do you come in? Uh, height, I come in about 5'8", and for this year, I'll be weighing in at 192. That's my cutoff. Well, when you had that 10 pounds, you said two days later, so you know where that weight's coming from. So, who do you, as far as diet and stuff, just c quickly, I know there's a lot of NPC competitors out there that kind of want to pick your guys' brains, your heroes to them as far as, what do you do as far as contest prep diet? Contest prep, my contest prep diet, you know, it varies from time to time, you know, depending on where I'm at. For the most part, it's, um, you know, little to no carbs. Uh, and my body seems to respond well to no carbs. Uh, you know, and then on the uh, days that we need, on the days that we do legs, because that's the body part we want to bring up, I'll increase my calories on that particular day. So for the most part, it's just that we keep the protein high, about, I would say, seven to eight ounces of protein a meal. And, uh, the, and the, the carbs, I would say that I, le I eat less carbs than a bikini competitor, competitor would. <laughs> do 
Justin's got him going old school. Justin was a successful bodybuilder himself. Well, not like these guys, but but yeah, I mean, you know, I, people. It's funny because people come up to me all the time now, and they're like, you know, Coach, what's the secret? You know, what? Yeah. And and my answer is the secret is that there is no secret. You know, you gotta work harder. You gotta suffer more. So it's like there's some people that are blessed with that super fast metabolism that can eat tons of carbs going into the show and still be ripped. I, I have a couple guys that I train that are like that, but for, for most of us, you know, mo most guys have to, it, it's how hard can you work? How much can you, can you suffer? And uh, George is tough. I think he can suffer more than most people, so it gives him an advantage. Yeah, we're gonna have a, a ton of videos in his off season, because I'm curious to see how this guy trains as far as squats and what you're gonna have to do, increase his biceps and stuff. So we're gonna have the cameras there. Usually you can lift an, at least another 10% more when the camera's on you. Okay. <laughs> How do people get in contact with you on social? Oh, sure. Um, my Instagram is George P underscore the bull. That's D-A-B-U-L-L. -L. Uh, Facebook, you can just find me at George Peterson. Uh, George Peterson IFBB Pro is my athlete page. And I started my uh, YouTube channel, which is uh, GP3 the bull. So, you know, just look me up in any one of those forums. And you, Justin, you have other clients as well, too. How do people get in touch with you to, to kind of become a, a Justin Miller client? Uh, well, on Instagram, it's a strong spirit on Instagram. So, it's, uh, yeah, and, we're, I, and I'm lucky, you know. I'm working with some very good athletes. George is one of them. Arash is one of them. I have a couple others up and coming that are going to be really good. So, you know, I'll just do the best I can with these guys, but I'm lucky. I have some really good athletes working under me. Make me look smarter than I am a little bit. So how do you balance, like, the Olympia? How do you balance Arash Rabah? and George getting ready for the same contest? Um, I don't know, that's gonna be an interesting thing. I mean, we, we, it's funny because myself and all the athletes kind of talk about that, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I mean, I, as a coach, I have no control over the judging, over who's picked, over who, so my job is just to do the best I can for each person. So if I can bring in each of them better than they were last time, then I did my job. I let the judges do their job, and whatever happens, happens. It's true. It's an individual sport. It's not like you're going to say you're going to squat less, or you're going to, it's not, you know, or give them a game plan. All right, cool. All right, so we're going to be on the lookout on NPC News Online for videos, and thank you so much for uh, participating today. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much, you. Frank. Thank you. Frank Seppi for NPC News Online.